Hey everybody, it's Emily, and what I want to show you in um, this video today is the different kinds of oils that are on the market today, everywhere from cleansing oils to moisturizers um, to multi-use oils, um, and then I want to, <coughs> excuse me, talk about a new luminizer that I found that I'm absolutely loving. I just got it in the mail today. Um, a lot of people who have not used any type of an oil, especially to cleanse their face with, I think it probably sounds pretty foreign and people may ask, how can I, especially if I have oily skin, possibly use an oil to cleanse my face with and not have serious problems? Um, it actually is really, really nice for your skin because it doesn't strip your skin's natural oils, but it strips down and melts away any of the makeup and dirt that you have on your skin. Um, one of the one of the oils that I really love, I wasn't able to find it for some reason, is Shuamura. Um, they have a wonderful line of cleansing oils. I think they have four different kinds of cleansing oils, and I use the pink one. I think it's uh, pore refining. Um, and I have kind of combination skin, but I'm 34, so as I get older, my skin is getting a little bit drier. Um, and it moisturizes my skin without making it feel oily or greasy, and yet my T-zone, which does tend to get a little bit on the greasy side, I have a little bit of a slick um, by mid-afternoon. It doesn't make it um, it doesn't make it greasy. It doesn't make it shiny. My skin feels really smooth and soft when I wash my face, and all of my makeup comes off. So it's a really great product. Um, the other one that I have used, as you guys can see, it's almost all gone, is the Cleanse Off Oil by Matt. Um, this was something that I, this was my very, very first cleansing oil, and I really do like this. Um, I have never had to use another cleanser after using a cleansing oil. Some people have suggested that if, um, if you do have a little bit of a difficult time, just to use a mild foaming cleanser, but I've never had a problem. Um, so that's what I really like to use to get my makeup off. And then I just got this and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. I know you guys have seen this before. Let's see if you can, there we go. This is the multi-usage dry oil and I just ordered this from Birchbox. Um, it nourishes, repairs, softens with six precious oils and vitamin E and it says you can use it for the face, body, and your hair. I've used it on my face and on my hair. I have yet to use it on my body. I think I'll try that tomorrow when I get out of the shower. Um, and probably mix it with some of my moisturizing lotion because even though there's a lot here, it's pretty spendy. Um, this is 1.6 ounces and it was about, well, I guess it wasn't too bad. It was only about $29. Um, one of the things that I have found that I really, really like to do with dry oils and, I've, and any kind of essential oil, actually, I've been doing it for the last few weeks, is I take... Um, my liquid foundation you can use it with any liquid foundation that you want and i take like one pump of liquid foundation and a drop of my essential oil um, and i mix it together and that's what i use as my foundation and it is moisturizing and it um, actually helps to heal and repair my skin especially being up in montana in the winter time it's so so dry and so by the end of the day my makeup has stayed in place and my skin is still soft and smooth and supple. Um, in the summertime, I would use a little bit less oil, but it does help to just give your skin that refreshing, dewy, beautiful, youthful glow that everybody always wants, but you can get it the natural, healthy way, the good for your skin way. Um, so that is something that I just picked up that I've really liked. I use this, I mix this with my foundation and um, I already have my foundation on now, and what I used was the Matte Studio Fix Liquid. Um, so I mixed a little bit of that, which was really nice because it thinned it down. Um, the Studio Fix Liquid, um, if you guys have ever used it, gives you a real nice matte finish. It can be a little bit on the heavy side because it is a medium to full coverage foundation, so it's a good thing to use that for. Um, the other type of oil that I love I'm so in love with this. This is my second bottle, and it's by Paracon MD Cosmeceuticals, and it's the Chia Serum. Um, I've done a lot of um, research on chia seeds. A lot of people um, eat chia seeds. I think that's you know obviously been the most common use for chia seeds. The Chia Serum is wonderful because it contains natural omega-3 fatty acids. Um, and the way that this is suspended 
your skin recognizes it as something natural and something that it wants to absorb into your skin anyways. And so I put this on directly onto my skin after I cleanse. Um, I do it both in the morning and in the evening and I use about five drops and I just kind of put it on my hand and then I just pat it into place. I put it on my face, I put it on my neck and my chest and then I follow it up with my Pureva um, moisturizing serum. I have really noticed a difference in my skin since I have started using this. I bought my first bottle the beginning of last summer towards the end of my pregnancy um, and I have been using it ever since. Like I said, this is my second bottle and there's not much left. Um, anyways, my skin just looks softer, it looks smoother. Um, as you guys can see, I even I have some um, deepening lines in my forehead. Um, but those have gone away. They actually used to be a lot worse. And I used to get those dry, those annoying dry skin bumps on the side of my cheeks. Those are gone. So I just love, love, love this. And I recommend, I recommend Paraton MD um, products to anybody. I just think that they are very high end. He uses incredible, incredible products that he has found from all over the world. So give this a try. You won't be sorry. This is expensive. I think this is about $80 a bottle. Um, but again, it's worth it. The next thing that I want to show you that I just got with my dry oil from Birchbox is the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer. I'm addicted to luminizers. I think that they're amazing, especially as you start to get older um, and that glow just kind of goes away. This stuff is all natural. Whoop, there we go. You can kind of see the sheen on that. There's no sparkle, no glitter, no nothing. It's a very, very natural looking, but again, it's natural organic product, which I love. So you just warm a little bit up with your finger and I don't have any luminizer on right now. I wanted to be able to show you guys the difference that it makes. So I'm just gonna put it right here on my skin at the top of my cheekbone toward the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna put it a little bit under the eyebrow and then and you can see as soon as it touched my skin. And you can just see the luminizing effect. This is just, it is, honestly, I have tried so many, as a makeup artist, so many, so many moisture, or I'm sorry, luminizers. I have not found one that is as natural looking as this one. Uh, put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. See how the light just immediately, immediately captured that? beautiful 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 and I love the fact that it is all natural organic product that I'm putting on my skin the more research I do about ingredients what it does to our face and just overall health the more I love using products that have organic green based ingredients in it so again put a little bit under our our brow, I even put some on my chin, on the bow of my lip. I put this on my lip. I know I can use it anywhere because it's all natural, it's organic, it's good for me. I'm gonna put a little bit in the corner of my eye. And ladies, for those of you out there who are moms, I'm a mom of two boys, five months and three years, so I'm really, really busy. I don't get very much time in the bathroom in front of the mirror every day. All you have to do, put on your foundation mixed with your dry oil, Put on your bronzer, a little bit of blush, your mascara, your luminizer, some lip gloss. You're good to go. You're out the door. You're looking beautiful. It's going to last all day. Um, I do like to set luminizers with a little powder. You don't have to. This stuff, you know, other luminizers I have found, if you don't set it with a powder, it tends to just kind of melt away by the middle of the day, and then um, you're more like a grease slick instead of glowing. So... Um, but with this stuff, you really don't have to. I'm just kind of in the habit of doing it. And also, if you just want a little something, a little something, something extra, this is um, the Silver Dust Powder by MAC. It's a loose powder. Again, if you haven't ever used this, I would highly suggest getting it. I have had, honestly, I got this at one of my pro MAC Pro training classes probably close to eight years ago and it's still half full so and i use it all the time <laughs> it's just a little goes a long way so you don't want to use very much and 
Again, you don't even really have to use it. The thing that I, I like about the RMS is that it doesn't have any sparkle. So if you don't want any kind of sparkle or shimmer, don't use a silver disc. So um, I just wanted to go over some of those oils for you real quickly and let you know some of the benefits of using oils on your face. Oils in the cosmetics and skincare industry is exploding right now. And it's exploding because people have realized what they have been missing. Now I could not imagine having a skincare regimen without using oil. So if you have yet to try on oil, do not be afraid. Most cosmetics and skincare companies have really great return policies. So if it really ends up not working for you, return it. But also know with that being said, that you do need to give a new product anywhere from 30 to 90 days to know what effects it's gonna actually have on your skin. So um, if you have any questions, you guys, about these products or about any application techniques, please don't hesitate to comment. I do like getting back with people when I see comments. Um, also, go ahead and visit my website at mjcosmetics.com. Um, my monthly articles from Montana Woman Magazine are posted on my website along with a link to the magazine. So I hope that you were able to pick up on a few new things and have fun learning about these new products. I know I have had a blast trying them. So I will see you next time. Bye.